Good morning. It's going to be a beautiful day today and temperatures, of course, warmer than they were yesterday. We'll be right around 40 degrees as we head toward the 9 o'clock hour with water wall sunshine. That will stick around through the day and temperatures warming quickly near 60 as we approach lunchtime and then highs today right around 67 degrees for Albuquerque. And it's going to get even warmer as we head through the next couple of days. Uh, we are going to see breezy conditions again today across the east. Red flag warnings in effect for the east central plains and then fire weather watches are in effect today up in the northeast where winds could gust up to around 35 miles per hour and of course conditions remain very very dry and with that dry air in place temperatures of course rise and fall very quickly so another cold start this morning 9 in Alamosa 18 in Taos 37 in Albuquerque we're in the mid to upper 30s down in the south right now sky is mostly clear we'll see a few more clouds moving over the weekend with the next system approach and we'll have details on that coming up later a criminal investigation tops this morning's news blitz State police have opened a criminal investigation into how an accused killer from the McKinley County Jail was released. Toby Gonzalez was let out late last month after someone claiming to be an official said paperwork for Gonzalez's release was on the way. A girl walking home from school in Albuquerque stepped out in front of a car and got hit yesterday afternoon. It happened in front of Wilson Middle School. The 12-year-old girl was treated and released. Officers did not cite the driver. Pulitzer Prize-winning journalist David Broder has died from diabetes complications at the age of 81. U.S. Senate Democrats have shot down a House GOP proposal to trim billions of dollars in federal spending for the rest of the fiscal year. Police in Pennsylvania continue exploring the cause of a farmhouse fire near Harrisburg that killed seven children from a Mennonite family. And survivors of the Tucson shooting rampage have come face to face with the suspect. They were in court Wednesday with alleged gunman Jared Loeffner. And that's the Thursday morning news blitz.